Well, good morning, YouTube. I am out here on a dry creek bed. Um, not entirely dry, but uh, just out here this morning. It's cool down here. And I uh, came across something that I wanted to share. Down here in these rocks. Right beside this cow manure. This here is a fossilized oyster. There's another one here and there, but uh, these are Proteus, if I'm saying that right, which is 60 to 100 million years old. And so there's a lot of these in this in this creek bed, and just kind of walk around on it and find them. That's a that's a broken. <laughs> it looks kind of like it, but that's a broken bottle. There's a uh, there's a road that runs nearby here, and so people throw out their trash, as you can see, and it washes downstream. But also mixed in here are these 60 to 100 million year old fossils. Let's see if there's any more. Old tire. A little bit of a log jam here. Here I'm at another section of that same creek, and I found that where there's these big, I don't know, ancient kind of looking boulders, that seems to be where the the oysters are located. And Just this past week, I found an oyster complete right here. So it's kind of like buried. You can kind of see the layers of the. Got this more clay brownish layer. And then, like, maybe this silty layer. The oyster was right here. And then, of course, the bank goes up quite a ways from there. So that's probably about 20 feet. To where I found that oyster I'll show that one here in a minute so here's that oyster that I was talking about that I found in the mud bank that had both the top and bottom pieces and I found it sitting in the mud bank exactly like you see it now of course it wasn't as clean as it is but it had both pieces undisturbed which I thought was a rare find and I was with my son when I found it this is my favorite one of all the ones I found down there. But this has been kind of the good picking spot. Wherever there was these rocks is where I would find the oysters. Let's see what this is here. So that's another rock. Here's one. That's a big one. There's another one right here beside it. Two of them, side by side. These are big ones. I got a pretty big old paw. I'm six foot seven. So that doesn't really give a, <laughs> a good idea how big this is. It's big, probably about five inches. So I just flipped this spot right here. This was sitting about like that. Flipped it over. This is probably one of the prettiest ones yet. Pretty clean inside. Uh, the I guess the perimeter of it, whatever the the edge is intact, not broken. So that's a good one. I wish I could find one that had the bottom part uh, still with it, and it, it could be. No, sometimes they're they're nearby. So. Right over here where these other two are. So it's 
like I was saying, this is the honey hole. This is a big one. Look at the roots on that tree. Now that tree is leaning way over out, trying to balance itself. So there's the creek bottom and the honey hole rock formations. So that first rock up there with the oysters on it, that's the ones I found previously. And that rock with the two sitting up there up top I just found. And then over there to the right, I'll get closer to it. Let's take a little break. <laughs> Alright. So I found just found these two big ones. And I'll show you where I found them. And then that's more of a, I don't know if it's modern, but it's a more of a typical lake oyster that you would see in area lakes around here. So it kind of gives you a size comparison. Let me go show you where, where I found those those two big ones at. <clears throat> so right there in the middle of the screen there is where they were at. And I kind of leaned over the water there and picked them up. But you can see there's kind of a, a tan layer of clay and then maybe a six inch layer of like some kind of sediment or a, a different type of clay and then all that's you know like topsoil or whatever so it's like they're buried right in between the layer of the brown clay and that light gray soil so if I look this away wait I think there's one that's one there I think in that same little area You can, you can see the different layers of, I'm not a geologist or anything, but I just think that's interesting where I seem to be finding all these. <clears throat> you know, they're not interspersed within all the, all the dirt or anything, it's just that specific layer. Here's kind of, to get a scale of how deep this creek is. 20 feet well here's just a few minutes of effort down there in that creek bottom uh, this looks like the bottom half of one of these oysters you know it'd be like that pretty two pretty good ones um, not complete because you see it's chipped off there I've got some more that I found over the years that are actually whole and they have the matching bottoms that go with them but looking at some roughly hundred million year old fossils right there pretty cool so here's the first four oysters that I found down there in that creek a couple smaller ones a darker one I tried to clean this one up but it just kind of remained the same color and then this one was the first full half, I mean top and bottom halves that I was able to find. And here's that oyster that I found with my son that was complete. And then here's the haul from today. Here's that more modern lake oyster compared to the others. And I brought a tape measure with me. So let's look at some of the bigger ones that I was pointing out down there. The bigger ones were about five inches. Yeah, about five. Some of the smaller ones were roughly four, about four and a half. This great big one, just about five. And some of the even smaller ones were about three, but. Pretty nice little collection there. So we're out here fishing, and I stepped in the tall grass and got all these seeds, whatever these things are called, all over me. Out here fishing in this pond. I 
What'd you catch today? Fish. You caught a fish? It was a that was a perch, wasn't it? Yeah. Catch another one, we'll put it on video. <laughs> another little perch. This is a bigger one. Right in your face. What? That's, that's a perch. I'm gonna throw them back in. Good tight grip on your thumb and toss them back in.